guys um welcome back um uh, i'm here because i just kind of wanted to brag about where i've been for the past couple of days i had to go out of town for a long weekend to go visit my husband who's working out of town currently so i drove several hours away to savannah georgia and while i was there i went ahead and i went to their local blick store and i did a little bit of some shopping so I thought I would just do like a small haul video and show you guys what I got. So most of these are just going to be essentially just refills. So I got some additional Princeton watercolor brushes um, because I might have ruined some of mine by leaving them in water because I'm too lazy to clean them. Ah. Um, I also got just some refills of the Pit Artist pens that I use frequently so these are all the brush tip I use the white a lot big fan and then I also got some additional uh, this says medium flesh and I think this one's beige red so just some pinky colors and orange colors that I use quite frequently and then more white you can never go wrong with white I've been really enjoying the Derwent drawing pencils so I got an additional white one of those and then your traditional white Prismacolor colored pencils. Um, I got some refill on my Holbein acrylic gouache, the Horizon Blue. I've used up almost all of mine, so I got some more. And then I got a Sky Blue, which I've never actually, this one's new. I've never had this one before, never used it. I was complaining in my last video that I was about to run out of my other gouache that I really do love. And I'm hoping this will be an acrylic gouache version of that maybe it'll match up somewhat um which would be fantastic so i'm going to use those two probably a lot together um again i got another titanium white watercolor this is a refill for me i go through a lot of this as well and then i got two new colors i went with the daniel smith color i don't really have much daniel smith i think i have one other daniel smith color maybe two but um i just don't they don't speak to me but this one i don't know the tube just looked nice uh one of my favorite color for shadows is a purpley watercolor that i use from shinhan so i don't know this kind of reminded me of that color i just wanted to see if it would do good for those sh just shadows that i use on my fluffy critters and then i got a new Schminka, this is a purple magenta. I go through lots of pinks. So that looks like a me color. I wanted to give it a try. So that's what I did. Huge fan of anything Schminka as well. And then lastly, I've been looking at this for a long time, making my camera shake. This is the Paint On Tan Mixed Media paper. I really was hoping to get this in sketchbook form um but i haven't been able to get access to that but one exists i just haven't been able to find it this is in you know sheet form which is not my favorite i like for all of my stuff to be in sketchbooks but i have tried paint on with the i think it was either blue or green i have this in another color so i'm pretty confident the tan is going to do the job that i want so my next drawing or painting will probably be on this we'll give it a try I just hate using loose leaf paper, but I am excited to try out another tan paper for my paintings. Um, so since I don't have much else going on, no new artwork this week because I've been out of town, I think we'll just go ahead and swatch out some of these just to see what it does on this paper. Okay, so I got my trusty cup of water. I'm just going to swatch these straight out of the tube just to see what this paper does so we're gonna do the sky blue whole bind acrylic gouache first I just want to compare that with that's pretty good. This is um, my last painting. Um, I did 
the sky with the suey, just traditional gouache. So that's that'll actually be a pretty good representation. That's the color that I wanted. I'm pretty happy with that. And the good thing about acrylic gouache will be that it's not water soluble. So if I'm coloring a character out of watercolor, I don't have to worry about washing my background away on accident, which is kind of why I prefer to do my backgrounds with the acrylic gouache. It just stays permanently there without me being fearful. So that's the sky blue. It's just not quite, I mean, it depends on how much you layer it on. But the reason why I like traditional gouache is because it's so matte. Um, the This whole bind's kind of translucent, but I can always layer more on top. So that's not a problem. And this is the horizon blue. I'm already familiar with this. So you can see this one's a lot more opaque. My dog is running around like a crazy person. She's got the zoomies if you hear that. But those two will blend in perfectly for a night sky gradient, which is always a look that I am after. Oof, I've got some really blue water now. I'm gonna be lazy and I'm not gonna change it out. Let's try the Schmincke Purple Magenta. This tube is so full. Oh, that's so pretty and so smooth. You guys have seen me do pink lion, so many pink lion manes. And if that isn't good, for a darker portion of a lion mane. I don't know what is. That's pretty. Okay. Oh, <laughs> my water has turned very pretty. Purple now. Don't do this, people. You need to clean your water. It's okay. All right. Let me go to the Daniel Smith. I hate trying to pronounce these things. Duochrome hibiscus. That wasn't too difficult. Ooh. I always feel these so full. Oh wow. So this one's watercolor. The other ones were all gouache. That is a pretty watercolor. I don't know if y'all I, this is actually, I wasn't expecting it to be kind of, I mean, it says duochrome. I didn't read it. I just looked at the color on the tube and I was like, oh, that could be interesting. No, this is like a pearly sheen. I was not expecting that. Um, I do not own any of the pearlescent colors of anything. I know there's many, many sets out there that are pearlescent. And I just never have any need in my artwork for shinies at the moment. Maybe one day. I'll get into it, but that's actually really pretty. It kind of speaks to me in a way. I'm not really sure how I could use that. Actually, I mean, I guess I kind of do. I could put some like sparkly like moons or something. That looks like a good like moon color. I don't know how it would show up in the scanner though is my one fear, but yeah. Anyways, that's what I get for not reading. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a very dark color, something like that, coming out of the tube. Go figure. That's funny. And then, of course, since my water is super dirty, let's just go ahead and put some white on there. Sorry, it's separated a little bit. I'm dumping this white out into a palette since I go through a lot of white anyway. I always reactivate it. So it's just Holbein white watercolor. An absolute must in my everything. Beautiful. 
so so far great paper it's got a little bit of tooth to it so it'll hold a little bit of some texture without being too too smooth but so far the paper is not buckling it's not quite it doesn't feel as thick and as heavy as my Strathmore mixed media paper so I think this will be fun to do maybe if I wasn't lazy I would just turn this into its own little sketchbook we'll see what happens and then let's go ahead for giggles sakes so white color pencil you can never go wrong with a good uh, just white prismacolor pencil just easy go-to and both of those are beautiful um, the Derwent the reason why I like the Derwent drawing so much is this goes to such a sharp point and it's so easy to sharpen I, the the Prismacolor Premier these just feel like these fall apart in the sharpener real easy but these are a smaller pencil I can even sharper point with these which is nice for like whiskers and things um, this one's I mean that's kind of a thick lead right there but it's a great pencil and then lastly just real quick pit artist pens so look how pretty that white is on there I know it's like an illegal thing you're not supposed to use white when you're watercoloring but I just prefer to do it that way these pit artist pens are my favorite for line art so great I don't know I have a couple of ideas I want to paint something um, I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet um, I do have to work the rest of the week so maybe by this weekend I will have started something and then I have a couple of other projects that I need to do as well but for right now that's what I have and then I'll see you guys again here in just a few okay before I end this video Let's see if we can't just make like a pretty quick sparkly moon. Let's just experiment for just a minute. We're going to use that, the duochrome hibiscus. And I, I used my other two Holbein gouaches and made a quick little blue background. And let's just see if we can do like a pink moon. I've got my Pinterest going. I don't really know what I'm looking for, to be honest with you. I think... I don't know I think I'm just gonna fill in like a base layer and then just do shinies here and there like moons kind of have like little spots in them so we're just gonna make this kind of messy I'm using my pastel watercolor palette as well not just the hibiscus color but we're going to use the hibiscus for some sparkles the blue moon or the blue sky rather perhaps doesn't really go with a pink moon but i'm trying to keep a hall theme going i guess okay it's gonna be wet for a minute. We'll add in some little craters in there with the darker watercolor that I have. Gonna need that to dry. I can't really tell if it's dry or not because it's still kind of sparkly. It's a little bit of a wink wonky moon, but that's okay. 
because I'm going to add a bunch of white to it. This is just for fun. It's not supposed to be perfect. And actually, now that I'm sitting here, I meant to get another white Posca pen too while I was at the store. That's okay though, because these are easy to come by. My little bitty moon. I added in some yellow just to add in some extra definition to just some uh, like craters. I'm going to try and make this a little bit more defined of a shape. It's still not quite dry. I might go around this in a little bit of a watercolor pencil like I usually do. This is still kind of really wet though, so this is probably going to be a little bit of a mistake. But let me see if I can make this look kind of nice and I'll come back. Okay, just a quick little moon. Like a swatchy moon. You can see it's a little iridescent. It's quick and fast. So that was kind of fun. So I think. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to scan into the computer very well, but for in real life purposes, that might look kind of pretty. So if I could think of a drawing to do, maybe with some sort of like a pink moon or something, might be an idea. But otherwise, that's all that I am going to do for this video. Um, like I said, I have a couple of art projects I got to do coming up. So I will see you guys again in the next video. So thank you for watching again if you got this far. Thank you.